Okay, on to the fighters. Firstly, um, a guy I know has worked very, very hard in his camp, very determined individual, a, a very good competitor, and a good fighter too. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I'd like to introduce to you Phil LaGreca. All right, Phil. I first want to start by thanking God. Uh, without Him and faith, nothing is possible. I want to thank starting my team, starting with Al Heyman, Sam Watson, Fernando Vargas, Ori Capitillo, my brother, my family, Jay, for helping me through this camp. Um, it's been fun. Honestly, I didn't want this camp to end. It's been 12 weeks. I mean, I finally got to grow a beard for once. I don't know what it was like to have a beard, now I have one. <laughs> Um, you know, waking up in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, going to run the mountains, things that I've never done before. I had a lot of fun, it's been great. I can't wait till Saturday. Um, I'm just ready to go. There's nothing else that I can say or do that's gonna make me better now. So, uh, come out and support. We're gonna put on a great fight. Uh, my goal is obviously to win and I'm willing to get knocked out to knock him out. So, I'm, I'm just ready to go. Thanks, guys. Phil, we, see, we saw you uh, looking in great shape at workout on Saturday. How much do you think the inactivity will affect Amir on Saturday night? Well, I, I've been inactive for, if you really look at my career, while Amir was having a lot of success, I was inactive. And uh, I've, let's say I've been a pro since 2006, I would say I would have total six, seven years of inactivity. It really, really, really puts uh, a lot of hurt in your career when you're inactive, especially in his last fight, the way uh, it ended. Uh, I know it's been on his mind for a long time. And, you know, a lot of fighters, a lot of athletes have a tendency to actually say, you know, they got one more, I got one more in me. You know, from Shigwe Leonard to Muhammad Ali to other good fighters that, you know, push the envelope. Uh, I'm a student of the game, and uh, I, you know, here's a fun fact. What you guys don't know, Amir, I actually met you in 2004 at the pool of games in Croatia. Uh, Valentino, 60 kilo guy. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey man, you gotta meet this guy. Yeah, he... I met him in our gym. <laughs> Where? In our gym, he went to our gym, and I was hanging off his neck. You know, gym. Going on, Jim. Invented Jim. Oh, actually, we haven't got a translator in today. So, <laughs> uh, so and you were, we were in the pool. You lost the first fight. Yeah. I, I got robbed. Then I got hurt. Then Valentino was like, "Man, this guy's gonna be good." And then I'm like, "Hey, bro, you don't remember, but I got a good long-term memory." I'm like, "How old are you?" Like, "Oh, 17." I'm like, "Oh, you got a long way." Next thing I know. He won the Olympic silver medalist. He won the, the silver medal, and uh, I, be, I was a fan. I think you've done great, and I've studied your boxing. I honestly believe your best years are done. I think your best years were in 2010, 11, 12, 13, and uh, it's gonna show on Saturday night. That's all. Sort of backhanded compliment there, I suppose. <laughs>